Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the 100th episode. So they had the 100th episode party the other day. We've talked about Chris would be in there and the possibilities of what's going on there. But we have some other stuff in today's video to talk about. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so like I said, we're on the break right now and so if you have any ideas as to videos that you want to see or anything like that leave theories leave suggestions in the comments down below or message me on twitter or instagram they're the easiest ways to get in contact with me at the dc tv show on both but anyway so we got some big 100th episode stuff to talk about and this piece of news that we're going to talk about first was released a few weeks ago and I totally forgot to make a video because it was right in the midst of all the crisis mania happening at that time. You know, it was crisis week and so much stuff was going down that, you know, that was all that was on everyone's mind. And I think this kind of slipped past a lot of people. I know some people on Twitter were mentioning it and stuff like that. But some of the Supergirl sites didn't even, like, make articles or anything like that. And same with me because I forgot about it. Anyway, so I went back and I checked some Supergirl news I was thinking like, hmm, what news is there to talk about? And I forgot about this exciting piece of news that Mr. Mixis Spilalik, and that's how you say it, because years ago, when Mr. Mixis Spilalik was actually around, I practiced for the longest time, because I had to say it in videos, and I had to say it right. Most people just say Mixy, but I practice, so I can say it, sort of. Like, I don't know if it's perfect, but it's pretty good. Anyway, so he is going to be returning, but it's not going to be the normal version of himself because Peter Gadiot, or however you say his name, he's English, he played the character back in season two for, I think it was a two-part episode. I love the episode, but he like appeared at the end of an episode before, so I don't know if it technically counts as a two-part episode arc, but he was in two episodes. And so he's not back. We got a new actor taking over as, as Mr. Mixes Pidalik. And so the casting came from Deadline, I do believe. And so it says this. The magical menace called Mixes Pidalik is returning to National City. Thomas Lennon is set to recur as the Mercurial trickster in the fifth season of CW Supergirl. So yeah, this Thomas Lennon guy is taking over from Peter, who was in season two. And let's just read some of the article because it has some details as to the way they are recasting and, you know, making it so that this could be possible. So they say, Mr. Mixis Pidlick, aka Mixie, is the impish, reality-bending trickster from the fifth dimension who previously visited National City to woo Cara Danvers, aka Supergirl, but created chaos in the process. British actor Peter Gadiot portrayed Mrs. Pidlick for that two-part season two adventure, but the transition to Lennon is moved by the character's handy reputation as a shapeshifter with an unpredictable nature. So that's their explanation for recasting him. I think the main reason is probably Peter just wasn't available, so they were like, oh, this Thomas Lennon guy, I guess we like him. I actually don't know the actor. Apparently the actor, I'm reading through the Deadline article, said he appeared in Lethal Weapon, Santa Clarita Diet, and then he was actually in Archer. I love Archer. Archer is a really good show, but I don't know who he was in. But also, he was in Clint Eastwood's The 1517 to Paris as well. That's quite notable. So, he's like a sort of character that plays a lot of these background characters, and you know, he shows up in a few things. So, that's you know, pretty much the definition of a guest star whenever a guest star shows up. But I'm pretty sure Mr. Mixis Pilduck is going to be a reoccurring character for at least a few episodes this season. And we definitely think that he's going to be appearing in the 100th episode. And so this is why. So in the 100th episode, it's called It's a Super Life. And my theory about the title being related to It's a Wonderful Life, which I will explain again in this video because not everyone here who are... A bit younger or don't like films has seen it's a wonderful life but anyway so i had a theory right and lots of people had this theory that it was going to be this sort of what if situation in that it's going to be related to it's a wonderful life because in the film the main character is called george bailey george bailey is on the verge of suicide and divine intervention has it that george is to be saved to not commit suicide so they send down an angel an angel second class from heaven 
that being Clarence, and then he essentially shows him this what if situation. What would life be like without George Bailey and what would it be like without his touch on his town? So it's going to be very very similar to that in that I believe because this episode is very reflective, it's going to be looking back at the past due to some of those interviews we know from the 100th episode party of Supergirl that some stuff like that is going to be happening, it's going to be re very reflective on Supergirl's past and that's why we have the return of some of these characters and we'll talk about some of those people in a minute but anyway so yeah in some interviews they basically confirmed this is a twist on It's a Wonderful Life in that Supergirl is going to see what her life was like in a sort of what if situation maybe it's going to be what if Supergirl had been exposed to the world and Lena and everyone knew about it, what would be the impact of that? That's a possibility, obviously we don't know exactly what it is right now, but also the possibility of what if Supergirl never existed, and this all relates back to the casting that I just talked about, with Mr. Mixis Pilik shown back up. We're pretty damn sure he is the cause for this, he's a fifth dimensional being, he's able to obviously shapeshift, which we've talked about and we've seen in the past, when he actually showed up, and so with him returning, it's obviously going to be a big reminder for Kara, and he's going to act as that sort of heavenly or divine intervention, showing life to whoever needs to actually see it to realise their impact on what they've had on the world, really. So I think it's going to be via Supergirl that Mr. Mixis Pilik actually shows this alternate reality of, you know, whatever situation they're in. And it's going to be very much so a lesson to whoever Mr. Mixis Pilik obviously messes with, but, you know, it's with good intentions, well, it is in It's a Wonderful Life, so we'll have to wait and see as to the twist they put on that film. So yeah, go check out that film, go check out It's a Wonderful Life, directed by Frank Capra, starring James Stewart and Donna Reed. It's one of my favourite films ever, I really recommend it to you guys. And so that's all happening in the 100th episode, that's what we know so far, but also what we know is we're going to be seeing some returning characters. We know that Wynn is in the episode, so Jeremy Jordan's returning, but he's returning two episodes prior to that as well, in a two-part back from the future episodes, but also Mercy and Otis Graves are shown back up, they were the bodyguards of Lex Luthor from last season who worked with Agent Liberty briefly, who is actually also showing up, so Ben Lockwood is returning, this is all from set leaks that we found out about these three, so those three aren't super exciting because Mercy and Otis Graves weren't very good. They were at the start of the season and Supergirl season 4 right at the start wasn't very good and they were some of the main reasons why I didn't like the show as much as normal. However, that doesn't matter because this is going to be just an alternate reality where they're just going to appear for like, I don't know, like a brief extended cameo which will be like a few minutes if that. So that's not a big deal that I don't personally really get excited to see them return and I'm kind of a little bit excited to see Agent Liberty return. That being Ben Lockwood, he's not going to be Agent Liberty. But he wasn't a very good villain, he was just alright, he was very boring by the end, but I guess it will be kind of cool to see him, I'm not so sure. But the most exciting return obviously is Jeremy Jordan as Winshot because he is our favourite and he's been away for so long so it's going to be really good seeing him around again. And obviously I talked about this in some videos recently, the theories of Chris Wood actually returning as Monel. I think there is a very high possibility that he shows back up as Monel. I don't know for how long or if he actually will, but it seems very likely because Chris has been in Vancouver. They've just finished wrapping the 100th episode maybe like a week ago. Chris has been around Vancouver for the last like two to three weeks, I think, and it's very, very likely that he is there to film some scenes for Supergirl. And for all those people who were like, oh, he's actually in Vancouver to film Legacies because it was announced that he's returning to another CW show, Legacies, as Kai Parker, they don't actually shoot in Vancouver, so that's not the reason for him being there. Also, like I've said, many people have been like, oh, he's just there to support his wife. He's been there for the last three weeks, right? Which obviously is one reason, yeah, he's probably supporting Melissa because it's the 100th episode of Supergirl, he should be there, right? But the thing is, before this, he actually didn't visit Vancouver for the longest time. And it was Melissa who kept on going down to LA where they have their own home or apartment or something like that. So Chris has been in LA and him returning for three weeks 
or so and he's still there is really really peculiar so I think it's very likely he's filmed some stuff for Supergirl. So that's about it for this video guys if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, turn on notifications as well and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.